Okay. Okay, so the, the plates are pin 1 and pin 6. Now, I did check pin 6 because I already knew that there was a possibility. I, I can't tell the difference between a 6 and an 8 on here. So I checked pin 6. It showed nothing also. So, uh, double check of pin 6 for voltage. I don't think I can do it underneath here. I want to stick my... Uh, Stick my voltmeter lead in there. Need to do it from the top again. Okay, we're set to go on. Hey, I didn't do my usual safety check before hitting the power. Got away with it. Okay, first pin one. This is with a restriction restriction on the supply. So 200, pin 6. If I get a reading now, I'm going to fall down crying. <laughs> so that's definitely pin 6 there. And you can see there's nothing. Let me just stick the probe in, in pin 1 again. How easy is it to get a reading? Look, I can hardly not get a reading. Look at that. Any old way I wiggle it. So if I go back in pin number 6, Nothing. Okay. Okay, we got it. Looks like an open coil. That's not good at all. Not good. Power off here. Okay, so let's think about this. If it's an open coil, and the coil is connected to pin number 6, I should be able to see a short back to one end of that resistor. Or at least I'll see the coil resistance. I go from pin number 6 to that 10,000 ohm resistor. And again, I'm across the coil. Okay. Pin number 6. I don't know how I'm going to manage this. side of that resistor. Wait a minute. That was one side. And the other side, where was the other side? Excuse my head. Right there. Okay, so What this is showing is that the coil is open. On the other side, because I should get at least 10,000 or uh, a short, depending upon which side of that resistor I go on. Okay, so no B plus on the tube, no continuity through the coil. Uh, it's not exactly the best place to land because let's take another look at that coil. I think I think maybe this radio, all this work, all this work, and this uh, radio may be a lost cause here. I have not done many lost causes. Big thing like this comes down to a coil. Oh boy. So, there it is. That copper bit you see back there. Let me put the uh, focus on maximum here. We'll get in as close as we can.
just looking at it to see anything I might see. It's just a cold solder joint on the uh, on the top here. Maybe it's something like that. See if I can look right up here. Imagine getting that out of there. Oh. Look at that. Well, wow. okay, hold it. Hold the horses right, right there. Hold on a moment. Phone's flying out of control here. You got a pretty weird view of what's going on at my shop here, don't you? Hey, this is good news. If I rip the soldering iron. Gee, you know, I could look at that all day. I never know that the wire's not connected until something moved it. This be great. If this is it, I will bet you it is. Get some hot fingers if I'm not careful. Uh, I'm saying to myself, "Am I the guy who unsoldered that?" <laughs> Okay, I'm a little excited here. I'll hook up the antenna to the FM. Oh, I better put that tube back in. flat um, top, there it goes, flat topped tube sockets. They're really tough. There we go. Okay. Still excited. Quick safety on that. Away we go. Volume's down. Put it on full power here. Turn it up. Wow, 
It's quite the stereo thing happening here. And it's really wrecked. <laughs> not having much effect here. Wait a minute. This none of this explains why there's no B plus on pin six. Hooking up those wires can't explain that. Can it? No. But interestingly enough, the stereo indicator light appears to be working properly. get this kind of sound from uh, missing B plus in the FM2 as much as I, I've measured it. It really does sound a lot more like a detector type thing or something like that. Or the stereo discriminator, if I'm using the right words here. Nothing seems to be sensitive. And just to double check. Well, there's no reason to think there aren't multiple problems here. So I still think the coil's open in the FM tuner. I think there's something going wrong in the uh, some of the FM uh, circuits, like the detector circuit. I think there's lots to do yet on this. But, you know, if that coil can't be fixed... Um, Okay, hold on. You know what I did? I, I jumped ahead. I got all excited about, hey, maybe I could just re-solder the connections. When I saw that wire was off, I forgot. Maybe it's just re-soldering these other terminals. On the basis of not having any other ideas here, I'm going to do that.
I give this about a 1% chance of helping. <laughs> give it a 2% chance of introducing another problem. There must be some more uh, tests I can do, continuity tests I can do closer in on the coil or something. Pin six. Pin six. Okay, that's pin six. Still showing no continuity. Well, you know, the coil is in a plate circuit, and uh, bad things can happen to coils that live in plate circuits. It's just not the best uh, neighborhood to be in. So, um, wow, okay, I think I'm stuck. I think I'm stuck at this point. Oh, oh, this is a sad situation, isn't it? It's very, very sad. What can you do?